The Department of Health and its partners, including ADSA Association for Dietitians in South Africa, appeal to the country to fully support and encourage breastfeeding moms who are protecting their babies against many infections, including COVID-19. Through breastfeeding on demand, mothers also protect their babies' vital source of immune-boosting breast milk and help their babies thrive through close mother and child contact. Kelly, welcome to The Loft Girl. I'm so happy to be touching base with you today. Thank you, Felisa. There's been a lot of fake news over the past pandemic months. One of the most damaging falsehoods to emerge has been that COVID-19 positive moms can transmit the virus through breast milk to their little ones. And one should stop breastfeeding. Now, Kelly, is this true? The short answer is no. There has been, the World Health Organization did cite a reference where a small amount of a non-infectious COVID-19 viral RNA was detected in breast milk, but there's absolutely no evidence that mothers can transmit COVID-19 through breast milk to their babies. So there's been a lot of misinformation around this and people thinking that they should avoid breast feeding if they want to avoid passing COVID-19 onto their babies, but it will just not pass through breast milk to the babies. And breastfeeding is still very much considered the globally accepted standard for feeding babies. It's the best food for babies, and we need to support mothers through this pandemic to continue to breastfeed. How does breast milk provide food security for babies? Food security is about providing enough nutrition for a person to support their health. It also means that it's acceptable and enjoyable for them and that it's sustainable over the long term. So the reason why breast milk is so important now, especially during this pandemic, is because so many South African families are struggling with food security. Mm -hmm. There are food shortages that we know about. And as soon as there's any kind of impact to household nutrition, such as unemployment or even just a reduction in the salary, which we've all experienced, I think that food is one of those areas where people are cutting expenses. If you bring a baby into the mix, breast, breast milk and breastfeeding is a wonderful, totally economical, completely free, highly nutritious substance. So it contributes completely to food security. So then Kelly, what would you say are your top tips for breastfeeding moms during this pandemic? The advice now is consistent with the advice that we give usually. So mothers should know that breast milk is produced when there's demand for breast milk. So the more frequently a baby can latch and suckle, the more milk will be produced. That means that we encourage what we call demand feeding, which means allowing the baby to attach whenever they want to, day or night, and that will stimulate more breast milk supply. Another tip is that really breast milk provides all the nutrition that a child needs. So up until six months, babies do not require nutrition from any other source other than breast milk. Another thing to consider is that we live in a warm country and we have many warm days, even in the middle of winter. And you'd think logically that your baby might need more hydration when it's hot, but breast milk provides all of the fluid that your baby needs. So you do not need to provide any additional water or other fluids to a breastfeeding baby. So breastfeeding exclusively means that they're not getting anything other than breast milk into their system. Okay. Other than prescribed medications, which your doctor would give. Um, but as with the normal coronavirus recommendations, hygiene is very important. So washing hands, keeping your surfaces clean, general hygiene is very important, no matter what, but especially during coronavirus. Okay. And then Kaylee, what should happen if you're just too ill to breastfeed? We do advise that mothers try to continue to provide breast milk for their babies, even if they are very ill. So understandably if you're extremely ill and you don't have the energy to sit and breastfeed your child then you could express your breast milk obviously when you're breastfeeding and you know that you've been diagnosed or you've tested positive with coronavirus the same recommendations apply throughout where you should be wearing a mask so wear a mask while you're breastfeeding your baby there's no need to wear a mask if you haven't been tested positive but if you have wear your mask wash your hands 20 seconds or sanitize them, make sure that everything is clean, but continue to breastfeed your child if possible. There are also other options. So if you cannot breastfeed or you can't face it, before you just quit completely and turn to a substitute, try to express and feed your baby with a cup or a cup and a spoon. And 
consider giving breast milk donations for the time that you're unable to breastfeed. If your breast milk production does decline while you are ill, don't forget that it's possible to reboost your supply when you recover. So please don't feel like it's the end of your breastfeeding experience. Try to get the support that you need to resume breastfeeding if you feel like your supply has gone down. Mm. Mothering babies and small children is often an isolating experience at the best of times. But now with the global pandemic and social distancing and staying at home measures, these feelings can be exacerbated. So what advice do you have for moms during this time? Remember that you're not alone. There are many other mothers going through the same personal struggles. And while your experience is completely unique, there are lots of mothers who've been through it, who are going through it at the same time, and there are many professionals and organizations who can provide support. One amazing platform that's available to South African mothers at the moment is called Messages for Mothers. And it's really worth noting that it's been a collaboration between Grow Great and other NPOs like um, Elifa Lavantwana and the Perinatal Mental Health Project. And they provide amazing resources and support and information that's all evidence-based and safe in terms of mothering, mindfulness, breastfeeding, nutrition, everything you need. So it's a digital platform. I really would recommend that mothers access that. Thank you for that information and include in continuously adding to our knowledge because as soon as we know what we're dealing with, we can be able to give the best to our children. Thank you, Kelly, for stopping by the loft and sharing your wealth of knowledge. Bye. Bye. Please, May South Africa, go over to social media. Let me know your thoughts and let me know how you are keeping up, whether you are breastfeeding or not, especially during COVID-19. Use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments.